Hi guys, and welcome to day 88 of Cozy Grove. I am still a bit under the weather today, but <laughs> we're holding in there. <laughs> um, let's see what we've got to do today. Look, we already found a fire. I was thinking that there might be a fire on here. Let's see where we need to go. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Let's see what the summer bear wants today or what she has for us today. We're going to have to check also on uh, Ted Sapson and see what the is deal with him. Why light the ground with lamps when you can light the sky, little mortal? Okay, new recipes. Ooh, we've got some rare ones today. Okay, what else is new? Oh, the green palm tree is here today. Let's see. Purple is pretty too. But... make a one make one of these okay crafted we've got a deluxe firework little mortal you must understand I'll be asleep again soon there's so much light for us to share with the others before then we shouldn't hesitate <clears throat> I should check her clothes as well and just see if she has any new clothes today let's see she may have new clothes today. That, has that rascal kit been treating you well, little mortal? Don't worry. He is good at his core. He does delight in his little games, so. though. Let's see. I didn't check the... Oh, lifeguard uniform. Oh, monochromatic heart sunglasses. Another sun hat. Swimming goggles. A wetsuit. And the red heart sunglasses. Man. All right. We're going to have to buy him. Yes, we want to wear him. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're going to need more room. Let's go help Octavia today. Let's see. Ooh. I'm going to sneeze, possibly. Hang on one moment. Okay. I am so sorry. Okay, can I help you with something? Find any nice shells lately? I've had bad luck lately. I keep finding shell fragments. Nothing whole. I'll trade you something nice for any complete shells you find. Okay. We can get that for ya. You know how when you're fighting a sneeze and your eyeballs just water up? That's how I am right now. Ooh. I don't know if I want to give him that one. Let's see. I guess we've already got it. <coughs> it can't hurt to give Octavia a nice shell, too. A rough periwinkle is good. Let's see if that one is smooth surf clan. All right, Valentina looks good. Let's see what she has to buy today. She's got the Uncommon Medieval End Table, a Fish Smoker, a Curious Stone Large Potted Plant, and an Ore Fish Skull, which we already have. And I've started kind of on this area. It needs a lot of changing. There's a lot of things I want to do differently. Um, but it's a start. I kind of like this half and half. Kind of cozy and bustling at the same time. <coughs> and I know our, our bushes don't have any flowers on them yet. But it'll be a good start. Let's see. Pharos needs help. It seems there's some truth to thy claim, spirit. 
'Tis not simply our signet ring, but all objects that pass through us. We shall require thy services. Bring us some princely material with which to decorate our abode. Okay, silver and gold. We've gotcha. A paltry offering, but we shall accept it. Such precious metals are traditional adornments of our hall. Wealth is power, and power must be shown at all times. Were it not for this requirement, we might prefer pastels. You could try both gold and pastels? Hmm. Perhaps it would not hurt to experiment. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to blow my nose there. But did this say preemptive pardon crafting? A preemptive pardon. That is bizarre. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but that'll be interesting to find out what it is. Let's grab all this. You know, one moment. Okay, I am so sorry. I have uh, two showings tomorrow, and I'm like, I better be better by then. Because this being sixing is just not for me. I'm too dang busy. <laughs> I've been watching the soil ever since I planted that kerchief. Nothing's come up. How odd. I suppose I should be patient. After all, what else is there to do? <clears throat> oh, love, that's so sweet. You want to figure out what haunts me, don't you? Well, I'll tell you this. It was very hard for me, losing Harold and then Francesca. Raising all those kids on my own was hard, too. But we found ways to get through it all, and there was so much fun and laughter along the way. The rolling camp breeze, full belly kind of laughter. That's what I cho choose to hold on to. <laughs> oh goodness what are they doing they're slip and sliding or sledding while she does the laundry <laughs> look at these two they're like what are you doing <laughs> there's her so you've got six bears here did you think my pain was keeping me here it's sweet of you to worry for me but no I let go of my pain a long time ago it's my concern for someone else that keeps me haunting this garden. She loves her family, that's why. I can understand that. I would be the same way. I think I heard a fire. I could be wrong. Oh. <coughs> Maybe this way? Hey! There we go. <clears throat> well, I'm so disappointed I didn't check the clothes on the uh, vendor yesterday. Dolly of Cosgrove is good today. Brune is good today. See your good friend Arjun. He's good today. Patrice looks like he needs help with something. I'm so disappointed. <clears throat> that I have been sick this weekend mainly because this is my favorite day to stream and I get to stream all kinds of things let's see oh our animals let's get all presents make sure you feed them well Francesca wants something today Oh, come on. 
There we go. Can I help you with something? The spirit smiles. She wants some gold leaves today. We'll see if we can find them. folding chairs here. Where is this one? There we go. <clears throat> Ooh. But we have to fix our dowsing rod as well. A forbidden scroll. Is that a new one? No. Nope. Alright. Lee Bear Dennings needs help today. I want to put stuff in my storage. Put those away. Let's burn a few things. There we go. Sounds great. Here you go. One moment. I am so sorry. <clears throat> oh, dang it. That's okay. I'll put those away for now. Let's repair our dousing rod. I've got a broken tool, Jeremy. There we go. All fixed. We're good as new. the captain needs help today. Can I help you with something? Squawk! Seems that I overdid it on the grog last night. I need something to wake me up. Oh no! <laughs> Rod of cocoa beans. At least it gave me some cocoa beans to find. All right, there's some cocoa beans. Uh, target for target practice. So that's got to be by Dahlia of Cosgrove. <coughs> Ooh, we got salt. Okay, here's the other guy. There we go. And tarps, right? Oh, still folding chairs behind something as well. Let's see if we can find that one too while we're here. just got back from the uh, 4th of July festival not that long ago here. <laughs> not the best thing to do when you're not feeling good. Um, but my daughter just got home and we wanted her to get a little bit of time to at least go and experience it before it was all over for the, for the week or for the, well yeah, for this week. It's only here for a few days. 
<laughs> Is it behind something? Search amongst the broken pieces of an urn. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, okay. So, on the beach. Stick houses. Let's get this really quick. Alright. Perfect. <clears throat> I did discover with these that you could potentially, uh, if you were good enough, get it in no skips. And if it were just at the right angle, you could shoot it right into the mouth of the, uh, <laughs> of the clam, which is kind of funny. Ted Sapson was supposed to ascend yesterday, but he did not. Let's see. Maybe he'll ascend today. Oh, come on, Ted. The spirit bows. They are now beyond material things, but they welcome the gesture. Well, <coughs> Ted Sapson is uh, ascended, but not lit up. Let's see. The spirit is filled with the happy memories you shared. I did message, um, I think it's Spry Fox. I sent them a little message today and let them know that Ted Sapson, for some reason, has decided he doesn't really want to ascend. He just, he'd rather stay here with his rocks. Maybe that's the way it's meant to be, but he's, maybe Ted Sapson just really would rather <clears throat> stay here with his rocks. Let's see. Yay! Hi, Malexinator! How are you today? I was just commenting, I've got uh, Ted Sapson completed. He is ready to ascend. He just is refusing. <laughs> I am sick today. I've been actually sick uh, today and yesterday, just in time for the holiday here. <laughs> um, so it is, yeah, yeah, that's all I can figure. He just really wants to stay there with his rocks. So... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I probably sound a bit funny, so I apologize. <laughs> um, how are we doing? Let's see. Hey there, Spirit Scout. Notice anything different today? Uh, empty there? That's right, I'm clean I've been cleaning up the place non-stop. I realize now that all my stuff was just holding me back. So no more. I'm giving it all away. Just look at how much I've gotten rid of already. It's like I can breathe again, even though I don't need to. Thank you for helping me take this step. Here's to the new minimalist veggie bear. That's great. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Oh, and guess what? I finally figured out the deal with Mom's ceramic carrots. She used to make those and give them out as gifts. That's why there were so many of them. She made sure all our friends and family had at least one. Mom wasn't much of an artist, but she knew a thing or two about relationships. Ooh, I think this is where Lee is maybe going to go. So these must be all the little carrots. Maybe that's baby Lee and this must be his mom. Yes, thank you. I will drink lots of tea. I'm actually thinking of going and taking a nap in a few here. <laughs> well, listen, I've got to get back to cleaning up around here. Next time you come by, there might even be room for you to sit down and rest this spell. Ooh. Is this the last one? Okay, Lee's going to actually ascend. 
He's going to do his thing. There we go. <clears throat> I was just thinking, Malexinator, I don't know what I'm going to do because uh, all my bears are ascending now. And it leaves me with less and less to do every day on Cozy Grove. I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? <clears throat> I'm going to be so sad when I don't have all my bears to take care of. Like Arjun. I, I love Arjun. He still has not ascended. I think I have Arjun, Charlotte, um, Ursula. I have Barrows. I have the Pius of Grizz and Dolly of Cosgrove. So I have a few. Here's what happens when they all ascend and you get a log. Or when you're all finished. Alright. I can't pick it up. <laughs> Let's burn something. Uh, you know, I'm not sure yet. I've got a lot of different games, so that I can I can stream. Like, I have, um, yeah, I still have a decent amount of bears, and I think I'm going to start streaming just a more variety. Like, I have Don't Starve, and I have um, quite a few others that I really enjoy playing. So I'll probably just work on all those. And it might even be nice, because it means that, you know, um, I can maybe try some different things and not feel like I'm missing out on Cozy Grove. So, let's see what this is. This is a legendary log cabin end table. Let's learn that recipe. <clears throat> but today, I've just not, I'm not given any care to the animals. <laughs> Um, yeah, longer streams and not every other, or every day. I think that would be nice because then if I'm sick, then I can just take some time to have some tea and relax too. <laughs> okay. I am going to look. Oh, look at, this is something here. What the heck? This guy is like chasing me around. All right, get in my pocket then. A hermit crab. <laughs> I don't know if I have one of those. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. <clears throat> How have you been? I think I saw you stream not that long ago, but um, I actually was just lurking. I had to like log on, and I opened it up, and then I lurked because I was working. I have been uh, still working every day. That's kind of the nice thing about masks is if you're feeling a little bit sick, you can still kind of go out, sit, you know, and take care of stuff without feeling like a total jerk. <laughs> How did that go? <clears throat> yes, me too. It just makes sense. Let's give her some shells. She's going to love them. You've got a real eye for shells, sweetie. Here, this should square us up. I just think it, you know, it's definitely something that makes sense. Um, and since we have all the masks anyway now, it's like, there's no excuse to not wear them. <laughs> Oh, they launch you in, in a timed life or, oh, life or death situation. No, that would be so hard. For some reason, I don't see Nancy Drew being like life or death situations, but I guess they would be because it is kind of like the whole murder mystery kind of thing. Oh, no. That would be so rough. And that's how you came into the game? Oh, look, and I made this for Ted Sapson yesterday. I thought he might like it. <laughs> oh, that was the end. Okay. Oh, the endings. Oh, I see. see I missed that part. That makes sense. Did you save the day in the end? Oh, 
Oh, that one's not very good. Yeah, very stressful, I can imagine. Let's see. Buy a tarp. <laughs> good. That is good news. I wonder if that was the stream I was lurking on. Was that earlier today or was it late yesterday? Because I saw you on, I thought, either yesterday or early today. Oh, one moment. I'll be right back. Okay. I feel a little more human now. <laughs> Um, I'm going to put a few sticks away. I just kind of excessively put everything away in my inventory. I don't know if you play Cozy Grove, but they have this gal here. And every single day she has different, uh, not reading it right now, but she has different crafts that you can make of different rarities for like island crafts. And then she's got lots of cool clothes. So the clothes that I'm wearing right now actually came from her. Except for the, the hair bread I got from the wig girl. But I thought it was pretty cool. So, excuse me, you can make uh, fireworks. And so I am uh, working on slowly when I feel good about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is weird how to get the sparks, huh? This is a new one. <clears throat> I've made two fireworks, but I don't know how many fireworks I should make. And I wasn't sure if I should just hold on to them and maybe set them off tonight. But I was kind of thinking of that. Ooh. <laughs> I wasn't sure which imp I was chasing for a while there. Oh, I got these little guys here. And I made a bunch of... Uh... Oh, I'll show you my palm trees. I think they're awesome. I made a bunch of palm trees. They were the blue palm trees, but I kind of like the palm in blue. Let's see. I much better. Thank you, young sailor. You're welcome. It does look cool. I have the green palm today, and I've thought about making some, but I'm like, eh, I've already made five blue ones, so I'll just stick with the five blue. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We've got one more quest. We gotta find the crystal rocks. I've been decorating up by my uh, my different areas. This area I'm gonna make, I think, into like a little, maybe like a little farm stand or a farmer's market. And then, uh, up north of Valentina, I've got a new a new area there, and I'm going to make that um, like a city garden. <clears throat> I wish I had a really cool fountain, but I don't know if there's a recipe for a fountain yet. As my bears decide to move on, I figure I could just start decorating everything the way that I would want to. Crystal rocks. Oh, here's some crystal rocks too. I could totally see it being something like right over here. Ooh. I don't know if I've gotten a coffee and donut stand yet. I wish you could trade recipes in this game. I think that would be really cool. I would love to be able to just bring you some uh, materials and get a coffee and a donut stand. <laughs> then I can make you a giant fossil or something ridiculous like that. Uh, okay. Okay.
got to be something that I'm just overlooking. <clears throat> Let's see. You know, there might be in the future. You never know, because they've made a lot of improvements to the game. So maybe in the future there will be like a multiplayer type mode. Sometimes I'm not sure what to do in multiplayer type modes when it's a game like this, though. Like I did uh, Don't Starve Together. I just played that the other day. <laughs> and that was a lot of fun. But um, I was the only newbie. And so everybody else knew what they were doing. And I, I kind of felt a little, a little useless, if I'm honest. Oh, goodness. I don't think this leaf exists. It's going to be like two... Oh, right. Right here. Right here. Phew! We found it. Okay, a giant clamshell under a leaf pile. <clears throat> Oops. Dang it. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I think that would be a good idea, too, because I know there are certain locks where unless you mark somebody as a best friend, they can't come on and um, play it. Oh, gosh, Don't Starve is actually kind of fun. I played it uh, really only one time. I played it on stream, and it's uh, sort of where you're dropped into the world, and your whole your whole goal is to just survive so you have to start looking for like twigs and berries and stuff like that and then I uh, slowly build up your materials so that you can make backpacks and all kinds of stuff so you can carry more stuff but um, you just keep building it up and up and up and uh, when I went on the survey the, the highest I've gotten is like 10 days I think and I went on their server and they had been up for like over a thousand days. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, I'm going to die in 10 seconds in this world because I have no idea what's going on. But it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. So if you ever feel like playing, I have Don't Starve Together on Steam and we could play together if you wanted to. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Old Stone Shrine. Gotta get this first, though. Okay. Oh, let's get this. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. If you've ever watched the show alone, it always makes me think of that. I've watched alone just because I think it's kind of cool that people can just go out into the woods and survive like that. I I find that fascinating because I know that I would I would not survive alone out in the woods. Um, but it is a lot of fun, and I'm still learning all the different things. Like I I think the, the scariest thing that happened to me is all of a sudden I thought I was all safe and I was getting the hang of it and then I went to go and uh, get ready for the night and I made my little campfire you know to keep myself safe and then I started chopping some trees and one of them got up and start, started moving and killed me and I was like I didn't know they could do that <laughs> okay let's talk to Francesca the spirit gesticulates as if to say I will always remember you Thank you, Francesca, for the potatoes. <laughs> I want to see what Mr. Kit has for sale really quick. So I do now have extra closet and extra backpack storage, but it's so expensive for the extra backpack storage, so I haven't used it yet. Um, <clears throat> we have a sad bird, a moon bird, and a demon deer. We have, ooh, a snow bear. That's so cute. Some skis. <clears throat> they're breaking out the winter stuff a little bit early, I think, personally. I mean, it's like Christmas in July here. 
a frog slide, uh, a rare wicker fence. That's kind of pretty. I know. That's huge. But look at how expensive it is. It's 200,000 coins. So, yeah, gotta save up my money for it. Um, <clears throat> we do have some new flowers. And I can't afford them today, which is good news. So I'll buy those in a little bit. And a young demon bird. And then for clothes, we've got an army cap. Sweater dress. A polka dot scarf. A revolutionary helm. That's kind of cool. A medical mask. A denim jacket. A committed beard. A sweater dress medical mask and a cardigan <clears throat> really I've not recycled my quartz yet I'm not gonna get that right now cuz I just don't feel good <laughs> um oh look at that it's one of the few times when you can actually see the hairdos on me so cute <clears throat> that is a smart way to do it. Um, the one thing that I've been doing, I'll show you. Let's see. I'll grab just a few of them. So I have all these fruit plants that I still need to harvest. And I will harvest them a little later today. But what I do is uh, what another gal told me to do. Let's take five of, well, apparently six of these. <clears throat> All right, we'll get rid of this first. And then take this. Put that away. Okay. So, <clears throat> if you have all the fruit, and now that it only takes five minutes to get to you, this, at a stack of six, would, uh, Sell for 144 gold. So, <clears throat> or old coins rather. So, I mean, let's do it. Let's be, let's be crazy. We're gonna buy it. Sounds great. Take my money. Yeah, we're poor. <laughs> um. Now, what's gonna be curious is whether we get another one tomorrow, which would be nice. But look at that. Yay! You put these down here. <clears throat> now we have four, but that's been the best way to make money I found. I know. <laughs> but the good news is that, well, yeah, I do have things I'd like to buy, so I better figure out how to make it back really quick. Maybe sell a few more, uh, a few more things or recycle some quartz. Let's try recycling some quartz. I think I have some. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Quartz. Let's just take... We're going to split off like maybe... We'll just take 13. Let's go recycle it. Oh, well, there we go, 8,400, that's not too bad. There we go. So thank you, Molexinator. I would say there's one uh, quest where you're going to need 500 cords, so keep at least a stack of 500. I forget who it is that wants it, but there's one major quest that I got where somebody wanted 500 cords, and I had turned all mine into higher gems, because that's what I like to do with mine, and uh, it hurt. <laughs> Uh, save a few of those fruit tinctures as well for when you get Pharos. Because he, he likes the high-end food and you need those high-end materials to be able to make them. 
So, <clears throat> at this point, it's more... Oh, did I show you my city garden yet? I'll show you my city garden really quick. It's not finished yet. It definitely needs a lot of work. But... See, I'm working on... Um, I kind of like having the the little cozy and the bustling right next to each other is when you put just the brick next to each other I feel like it looks a little weird and it just flows better when you kind of mix them up so I've got some bushes back here that need to respawn um I don't think I'm going to keep this plant one but I know I wanted an exit back here and I just uh I haven't decided on which one I want to do yet so I need some more of the cozy ones. I need some more of these lights. And the only one that I have is the legendary. So it takes like 150 different uh, flower bits. The flower. Oh gosh. What am I trying to say? Oh, whatever the heck it is. It's a, whatever the flowers recycle into the pigment. <laughs> um, but I'm going to do a little, eventually a little city garden in here. I thought it might be a kind of a cool little place, but we'll see. Once all my bushes come back in, I want to kind of alternate them a little bit based on what they are. And then I was thinking maybe what I'll do is I'll take the flower pots that are of certain types of flowers <clears throat> and put them up in there so that it looks a little high end. So uh, definitely, I think the bustling fence has been my, or not the bustling fence, but the, the cozy fence has been my favorite fence so far. So I probably overuse it a little, but it looks cute. The only other thing that I can think of is if you had like a, I was thinking of like in Animal Crossing, you have a, a spooky fence and the Halloween fence is just kind of that nice um, iron grate. And I love that. I thought that would be pretty too, but th we don't have something like that yet in this game. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I'll grab my berries really quick since I only have two more. <laughs> I feel like I should walk through on uh, Lee's just to really see. He says he cleaned up his garden. Really doesn't look bad. Everything's neatly stacked. Still a lot of broken plates here, but... You know, they're neatly stacked, so it's okay. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Alright, well, I am feeling a little bit under the weather. So I am probably going to go and lay down for a little bit before uh, all the fireworks start going, going off tonight. And uh, I am going to hope that I feel better. And maybe if I feel better, I'll come back and maybe I'll stream something different. Like, don't starve. <laughs> but thank you for coming and keeping me company, Maleksinator. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, too. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I was going to say it to you, and I'm like, well, you're up in Canada, so you don't you don't care about that. <laughs> but, you know, maybe you'll get to see some fireworks from afar. Who knows? It depends on where you're at. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's a big thing here. So, um, all right. Well, I will head off for now, and I will see you later today. You have a good rest of your day. <laughs>